In other news tonight, pushback in Lansing as Democrats introduce a series of gun control bills in the wake of the shooting at Michigan State. And even with Democrats in the majority in both chambers, outsiders are making a bold threat to keep the bills from going to a vote. Grant Herms is live tonight to explain just what's going on here. Hi, Grant. Hey, Christy. So these bills were introduced after students across the state, including here at Wayne State, called for action. You can see their pudding stone here decorated in green and white for MSU. Now, Democrats are hoping that their new majority and public support can get these bills through. On the other side, gun groups are saying they are going to push back, including one gun group saying they're going to try to remove Democrats from office if they vote for these bills. Earlier this week, state Senate Democrats dropping nearly a dozen gun bills aimed at curbing gun violence. Three would expand the state's licensing process and background checks to include rifles and shotguns, not just pistols. They would also expand felony charges for forgeries or falsified gun sales. Four of the bills tackle safe storage, creating misdemeanor to felony charges for someone who knowingly leaves a gun unsecured when kids are around and would exempt gun locks and safes from taxes. Four other bills would create laws for extreme risk protection orders or so-called red flag laws that allow law enforcement to confiscate guns from someone who has been deemed a risk to themselves or others. I, for one, refuse to live in grief without getting something done. Uh, so we cannot just wait for the next trauma, the next terror, the next event uh, that, that disrupts an entire community um, without getting anything done. But gun rights groups are already lining up including Great Lakes Gun Rights, which launched a petition vowing to recall any lawmaker that votes for any of the bills. The director saying in a release, Michigan Democrats are charging ahead with anti-gun proposals that would make California blush. Are Democrats willing to lose their majorities this summer? I guess we'll find out. Democrats say they're not backing down. I think they're going to find that a lot less people support their position than support the position of the lawmakers who are getting ready to get this done. And Senator Moss might be right there. A poll done back in December found that about 60% of Michigan voters supported safe storage laws, 75% supported red flag laws, and nearly 90% of voters supported those expanded universal background checks. Now, there were supposed to be hearings on these bills this week. The weather postponed those until next week, which is when we expect things to get underway.